Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am the president of Chickenlandia, and today I'm going to give you an update on my mud hack. It's something that I've been using to control the mud in my chicken yard. It's part of the chicken coop hack series, and I'm gonna put the link to that in the description. I'm just gonna do an update and show you how this mud hack has been working. Let's do it. So last year, the mud situation was just absolutely horrible. There was so much mud, especially right here in front of the chicken coop. It was just like you were walking on, I don't even know what, like you were walking in a swamp. <laughs> it's really not good to have that much mud in your chicken yard. A little mud is normal, but they need to have a dry area where they can spend most of their time. And since this super muddy spot was right in front of their coop, they had to go into it. And I felt really bad, but nothing that I had tried was working. A lot of people recommend sand. I know that it's popular and I know that it works for people. And I absolutely think that if it works, you should do it. I'm not one of these people that's like against <laughs> certain things. It's like, if it works for you, then you go, you do it. What happened was is that when I used sand, it got really hard and it got really smelly. And eventually it was very muddy back here. So what I showed you in the original mud hack video is that I laid down a layer of pine bedding that is pelleted. You can use it with horses, you can use it with dogs, you can use it with small animals. It's just really highly absorbent pine pellets. And I was really worried that it was going to get like super mushy and just totally defeat the purpose, but it didn't. It just soaks up all that moisture and so you're not dealing with a ton of mud in your chicken yard. After I laid down the pine pellets, I did put some playground chips over it and that really made it look better. I don't have any playground chips today. Julie's not here with me today to help me with that. So I'm just gonna replenish this area with more pine pellets and that's gonna make it look a little bit better because <laughs> it doesn't look that great right now. That is not mud. It's dirty and I need to replenish it, but compared to how this was last year, this is like nothing. I just wanted to move a little bit of it a little bit of the top layer out of the way. You can see the pine pellets are still down there. The pine pellets are underneath and they're just keeping everything dry. They're just soaking, soaking up all the moisture. How you doing, Mr. Robot? So I disturbed the earth over here because I wanted to even it out a little bit, but now the chickens are like super interested in it and they want to pick and scratch in it a little bit. So I'm going to give them some time to do that. And while they're doing that, I'm going to work on touching the coop up because that's what needs to happen. <laughs> The coop is officially freshened up. I really didn't do much. I just scraped the poop and I replenished a little bit of shavings and I replaced the nesting box pads. These are pads for my favorite chicken. I did a review of these, I love them. Now I'm going to put the pine pellets down and uh, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to look perfect, but it's going to be Chickenlandia style. <laughs>
So I put two bags of the pine pellets down and you can find them at your farm store. You can find them at Tractor Supply or whatever farm store you have, Coastal, <laughs> or your locally owned farm store, even better. You could find it there. It doesn't look wonderful, <laughs> but it is super duper functional. We're probably gonna get some rain later today. This is really gonna help. And when Julie comes next, she'll bring some more playground chips and then it'll look really good. So yeah, you probably notice I do have a little bit of physical limitations. I can't be carrying a big bag of wood pellets, 40 pounds, no, I can't do that. For 50 pounds, I cannot do that. You know, we do what we can. And for some reason, when I'm in Chickenlandia, I'm not really thinking about my limitations. I'm thinking about what can I do? And I really think that's just the magic of chickens. I always talk about how chickens can change your life. And that's one of the things that they continually do for me. They remind me of all the things that I can do. I'm out here, it's very early the next day. It rained all night. It's super duper windy today. Thank goodness I have this netting or the chickens just might blow into another yard. <laughs> It rained all night long. Um, in the past, there would have probably been flooding back here and also a ton of mud, but there's no mud. It's just the pine pellets, they expanded a little bit because they got really wet. I mean, it rained a lot. I can tell because there's a whole bunch of water in the uh, water bowls, which I empty every day. I probably should have just put one bag down, but I got excited. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so windy. <laughs> you guys okay? Don't blow away. Yeah.